Hello, welcome back to this channel. So today uh, in this video, I would like to talk about something about hardness and in particular application of hardness. And this is in response to a question by a viewer about what are the industrial application of hardness tests and application of hardness tests in engineering in general. So this is a very, very important topic and I thought maybe I should talk about this topic at length. You might have watched my previous video on hardness tests and maybe because of time limitation, I could not talk about application so much in detail. So today let me talk about the application of hardness tests. Hardness test is a very, very important mechanical test. And this test is used for both for surface property to understand the property of the surface as well as for the bulk. Because hardness test, in hardness test we indent a material. So we indent a material for example using a tip. So this pen has got tip. So this kind of tip, but we use, we use certain materials and in fact they, they are very hard materials. So for example, sometimes we use diamond, often we use diamond. So if this tip is going to indent a material, let's say this plastic and I indent this material, so it is going to penetrate the material and it will form some indentation mark. So depending upon how deep we make the indentation, we can understand about the surface property or we can also understand about the property of the bulk of the material because this tip is going inside. It can go inside just few nanometer, let's say 10 to 100 nanometer, or we can also make it go deeper, hundreds of nanometer or even millimeter range. So depending upon how much we indent, how deep we indent by using the force, force of indentation, we can understand the property, the hardness property of the just the surface or we can understand the hardness property of the bulk of the material. And when we talk about the bulk of the material, then this hardness can be related to the yield strength of the material. So um, using hardness test, you can also find out the yield strength of the material. In fact, you can even find out the elastic modulus. If you do a nano indentation test where you measure the force continuously with respect to the depth of indentation as you are going deeper, you continuously measure the, the indentation force and using some analysis you can find out the elastic modulus of the material. So it is very very useful and all we need to do is to prepare the specimen surface, a very small area of the surface for hardness test and we conduct the indentation test. Of course, there are many uh, equipments like a Brinell hardness test, Rockwell hardness test, Vickers hardness test. So those equipments are very uh, standardized and you can find a lot of standards for doing the test. But as you might have watched in my previous video that you can even make your own hardness tester. All you need to do is to arrange for something for the tip to be to touch the specimen and apply certain load for certain time. So please watch my other video to know how you can actually make your own hardness tester. So here I will talk about the application. So first of all, um, I remember when I started my work in a company, in a steel company. So we were making steels, steels of different grades. As you know, different types of steels may look uh, same in terms of its color and so on. And even, but those st uh, steels are different because they have different alloying elements. So how can we understand whether we have made the right steel or not? And this we can do by hardness test. So we used to conduct the hardness test of the steel which we have just made uh, using the electric arc furnace method and then we see if the hardness that is given by this new steel that we have made 
matches with the hardness we are expecting. So different steel has got different hardness depending upon its alloying elements and that we can detect by using hardness tests. Other method by which we can find out different steels property is by doing tensile tests. But as you know tensile test is, is not an easy test. It, it is quite uh, uh, laborious because you have to prepare particular type of specimen and conduct the, specimen, uh, the test. So it is uh, not so easy. But hardness test is very very quick and very easy test. So we used to perform the hardness test. So in the industry you can use hardness test for different types of steel. So for example if you have different grades of steel and not only steel but also aluminium, uh, magnesium. These are the um, main metals that we work on, um, brass. So for these kind of metals you can conduct hardness tests and find out whether the metal that you are dealing with has sufficient strength and sufficient hardness or not. So as you change the bulk property, as you change the bulk, let's say alloying elements, the hardness will change. Either it will increase or sometimes it might decrease. So you can detect by conducting the hardness test. So any kind of metal, for example, if you have got two metals like here, I've got a brass and a stainless steel. And if I conduct hardness tests on these two using a diamond indenter, then we can, I can find out the hardness of this uh, steel and this brass. And the steel will give me higher hardness than brass. Similarly, if we have plastics, so for example, this plastic, I can use hardness test to find out the hardness of this plastic. And for example, I can compare this plastic with this plastic here. This, And we can understand whether which plastic is harder and therefore perhaps scratch resistance and so on. So these are the important things that we can um, use in industry. Even for ceramics, so for example, if I have got a ceramic cup like this and I can conduct a hardness test on this ceramic for understanding the hardness of this uh, ceramic. So this way I can say that uh, industrially uh, the hardness test is very, very useful. And therefore it is very important that you should keep a hardness tester or you can build your own hardness tester and use it uh, whenever um, necessary. Another area where uh, people use harness tests is for heat treatment. So for example, if I have got a carbon steel like this one, if this is a stainless steel, but if I have got, got a carbon steel and I will conduct um, some heat treatment, let's say um, quenching or um, or I might do a, a surface heat treatment like carburizing or nitriding. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the surface property and I can use hardness tester to find out whether the surface treatment that I have given is sufficient, is good or not. So the, these are the some of the applications uh, of hardness tests for metals and for plastics as well as for ceramics. I often use harness tests in research. So in research, for example, I prepare polymer composites. So different type of polymer composites I prepare and I can use harness tests, tests to find out whether um, the composite is harder compared to its uh, matrix or not. Similarly, I can use harness tests to uh, find out the curing property of uh, polymers like epoxy. The epoxy can be cured to different levels and as you cure the hardness will change because its strength is basically changing. So therefore I can use uh, this hardness test to find out the level of curing. So th there are many ways how you can use hardness tests. One thing we should understand is that hardness tests is very suitable for materials which are mainly plastic, which can deform in a plastic way after certain amount of elastic 
deformation. So for example, metals are very suitable because for metals, they will deform elastically to some strain level and then beyond that they will go in plastic range and they will have very large plastic deformation. And hardness test is basically uh, measuring the plastic deformation. So any material which has got high amount of plastic deformation compared to its elastic deformation, then hardness test is very suitable. So for metals and for most of the ductile polymers, the ductile polymers means they plastically deform. So this test is very suitable. For, for materials like rubber, which deforms, which has got very large elastic deformation, and after that it will break, it fails. So for this kind of material, we may not be able to use the traditional typical type of hardness test, but for rubber, some specific type of hardness tests have been developed. One is called Shore method. So anyway, you can do some literature survey and find out what are the hardness tests for rubber type of material, any kind of elastomers, where we see very large elastic deformation and very little plastic deformation because beyond elastic deformation, it fractures. Similarly, for ceramics and glasses, they have very brittle nature. So they will have elastic deformation and beyond that it will fracture. So again, for ceramics, we can use these hardness tests, but sometimes we may use scratch tests where we actually use that same tip, similar kind of tip, but we scratch rather than we indent. So by scratching uh, using uh, the hardest material, which is diamond, we can actually find out um, the relative scratch resistance of ceramic. Similarly, for very hard coatings also, like tungsten carbide coating, we use scratch uh, resistance, scratch test. So, so uh, finally, in summary, I would like to say that these harness tests, uh, normal indentation harness tests are very useful for materials which are ductile in nature, and they are used for, for variety of um, industrial uh, applications, uh, metal um, production or metal forming or different types of heat treatment, all kinds of manufacturing uh, plants would use harness tests. And the harness test is also uh, very useful for research where you are trying to make different types of materials. So basically materials based research will need harness tester. And in the harness tester, there is also another test called nano indentation. In nano indentation, basically we measure the indentation force with respect to indentation depth. And this data is very, very important because this data can be used to uh, calculate the elastic modulus as well. So I, I would like to say that uh, harness test is kind of most versatile mechanical test. And you can use harness test to understand the property of the surface for example harness the hardness of a coating or you can use this test for understanding the property of the bulk of the material for example you can interpret the yield strength of the material using the harness uh, data important is that harness test is very very simple very simple to perform and even simple to build a harness tester by yourself so please watch my previous video to see how you can build your own harness tester. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope it was useful to you. Please do not forget to like my videos because that is how many people will uh, be able to watch because if you don't like the video then in that case through YouTube it basically gets dumped. Uh, that means it doesn't get watched by people and also you can subscribe to my channel to to see other videos uh, in my channel so thank you very much once again thank you